I'm surprised you still call yourself a detective. Oh, to be clear, that's a compliment. A normal person would have fled. Anyone with even the slightest bit of a conscience wouldn't be able to take it. And yet, here you are. It'd be one thing if you were using your abilities, but you're actually using a Death God's powers, aren't you? You're trying to corner me with all these acrobatics. But in truth, this is the worst possible move you can make. You can never outsmart me. Here. Kurumi, where are you? Knowing that Vladdy's personality, she wouldn't go back the way she came. Try looking for her up ahead. Right. Let's look that way first. You after all. Makoto Kagutsuchi! It's you, isn't it? The white smoke that knocked us out at the detective agency was from that gift you gave me! What's your goal here? What are you trying to make me do? Please continue enjoying the rest of the tour. Damn it! How many times did I warn you to stay away from him? You should have listened! It's all too late now. Besides, I'm sure from the moment I got on the Amaterasu Express, I was fated to meet Makoto. It's too obvious of a setup to call it fate. This is way more like the perfect crime or something. start, but I couldn't refuse Makoto Kagatsuchi introduced me. Huh? The client didn't. No. But otherwise, I would have refused the job. After completing the job, I was told I knew too much. Damn! 
Master, if what he's saying is true... Makoto was the one who instigated the Chief to hire the Hitman. Does that mean he knew about the Chief and Yomi's plot and took advantage of it? All to eliminate Yomi. And he took the Chief's life, too. Even me being there was part of his plan. He's had me in the palm of his hand all along. If that's the case, I'll make him pay! friends was devoured. The biggest dimwit survived the longest. Perhaps thanks to her overpowered ability. <laughs> it's Fubuki's handwriting. Homunculus experiment report. My apologies. I do not understand what is on the computer screen, so I will copy it down, word for word. Three years ago, the Unified Government's research facility successfully created the first homunculus. The secret to their success was the DNA used as the core for their artificial cells. Their focus was on individual differences in DNA, so they experimented with various peoples. They found success in one person's DNA, someone believed to have the world's greatest mind. But because of that greatest mind, the completed homunculus was able to reflect on its condition. As a result, it realized it was a homunculus and escaped the research facility. Currently, that specimen is still missing. So the Yuji's research facility successfully created a homunculus three years ago. And Project Homunculus occurred at the same time. So that's why Amaterasu Corp grew impatient. The key point is that the specimen went missing. Probably has nothing to do with this city, though. But what's this about someone having the best brain in the world? They gotta be exaggerating. away six months ago? Yes. I lost you when I went looking for her. But I got to talk to her a bit. She looked and talked differently from how I remembered. Still, I finally got to say goodbye. I think she understood. That's good to hear. I got to see Chief Yako back there too. The Chief? Did you speak to him? No, not really. But he did hand me something that exposes the truth about this place. That sounds like something the Chief would do. Oh, right! There was something I remembered after talking with Aiko. What do you mean? I'm so glad Kurumi's alright. Don't breathe a sigh of relief just yet, Master. The Vladi said she remembered something. What in the world did Karumi remember? Let's see what she has to say. What 
could you remember? Um, Heiko really hated syringes. She'd raise hell whenever the school gave out vaccines. Um, where's this coming from? I'm getting there. I mentioned syringes to see if it was really Aiko I was talking to. Then I suddenly remembered. A few years ago, something bizarre happened in the city. What happened? Everyone in Kanai Ward had to take a blood test. The peacekeepers ordered, and no one could refuse. A forced blood test? Back then, we were told it was to test for a contagious disease. I had no reason to doubt it at the time. But my grandpa didn't actually get tested. He said it was suspicious how the peacekeepers were enforcing it. You mean your grandpa who went missing? Yeah. And you know what? Grandpa disappeared right after the blood test. He and his friends did everything they could to make sure no one found out they avoided the test. But right after it happened, Grandpa was caught and completely vanished. The same happened to anyone who didn't take the test. Hold on, Kurumi. By it, do you mean... the Blank Week Mystery? Huh? Y yeah I do. All I've heard is that the Blank Week mystery is a taboo within Kanai Ward. Can you tell me about it? What exactly is the Blank Week? I can't tell you anything. What? Why? No matter who you ask, you'll get the same answer. That's because... no one remembers it. What do you mean? You don't remember? I woke up one day and the entire city was ruined. It was like a tornado had swept through. Not only were the outdoors destroyed, but the inside of our homes too. Something terrible must have happened while we were sleeping, but none of the residents remember a thing. How could that be possible? In fact, my home was torn to pieces too. But I don't remember anything that happened back then. But that's not all. Within that time, the date in Kanai Ward had moved forward by a week. A whole week passed while you were asleep? I... think so. But we never quite found out what really happened. When we woke up, everyone in Kanai Ward barely even noticed that it had been completely ravaged. Businesses with dealings outside the city were aware they had a week of no activity. But right afterwards, Kanai Ward was completely isolated, so no one could look into it. In the end, it was all forgotten while things were still uncertain. No, I think it's more accurate to say we chose to forget. It was all too bizarre... and scary. It kind of became a touchy subject, and no one wanted to talk about it. So that's why the Blank Week mystery became taboo. There were lots of different rumors about it at the time, but no one knows what really happened. Some people said that Kanai Ward's clocks had all malfunctioned, some said we were all drugged by some organization. Others think our internal clocks got messed up and we all fell asleep for a week. But... We don't know the truth. What do you think happened? It's like time froze for the whole city! All we know is that my grandfather and others like him completely vanished back then. Kanai Ward's unending reign also began right after those events. Huh? The Blank Week mystery triggered it? This is so mysteriful. That's... all I know. I see. 
thank you. <sighs> Even I don't know what's going on here. But all that info sure seems useful. She should have told us about that sooner. You can't blame her. It's taboo, remember? By the way, Yuma, did you search the whole factory? What was the truth that voice was talking about? I still don't know. But I haven't checked everything. I don't know what's behind that door. We've already come this far. We might as well check everything. Wait! Don't go alone! It's too dangerous! She sure loves to act before she thinks! Something. Kurumi, it might be dangerous up ahead. I'll go first. Huh? But. Leave this to a detective. I'll be right back once I've confirmed it's safe. Then we can check it out together. Please don't disappear on me again. You had me worried back there. Uh, okay. But. Please be careful. That... A corpse? A human corpse? It's on the conveyor belt! Then, those meat buns... No way! You're kidding! Oh, this is horrible! Why make such a thing? There's something else over there. We should check everything first. <gasps> I don't even want to think about what's up ahead. Right? 
I want to believe that too. But why would someone write down a lie in their final moments? If what's written here is true, then I don't know what to believe anymore. Well, if these guys are all dangerous criminals, they didn't deserve to live anyway, right? It's not something you should worry about, Master. Just because they're dangerous criminals doesn't mean they should be slaughtered like this. It's not right! And why turn them into meat buns? <laughs> Calm down, Master! It's better not to think about it. Shut up! Oh. I'll make it a solution key for now. We are finally catching a glimpse of the truth. But it's not over yet. The mystery you need to solve awaits outside the factory. You want to expose all truths, don't you? Then press on, detective! Hurry, before you can't trust anything anymore, so that you can keep trusting in yourself! Come on, solve the mystery! Nothing at all. Huh? Oh. Too bad. What is it? You look pale. No, I'm fine. It's best if Kurumi doesn't learn about the meat buns yet. She's been eating those things for so long. is waiting ahead. Are you ready, Kurumi? Yes, of course. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Huh? Never mind. Outside. Whatever it is, it's a bit excessive. Could this be part of the truth he mentioned? Master, there's a switch! What do you want to do? Are you going to flip the switch? Huh? 
has been declared. All residents, please seek shelter inside. I repeat, a state of emergency has been declared. All residents, please seek shelter inside. Clearing up. So the stuff coming out of the chimney was. rain clouds? Huh? This machine's a device that creates rain clouds? The machine creates artificial clouds to make it rain all over Kanai Ward. To think, even the rain has been artificial this whole time. There is no truth in this city. Everything is a lie. We should turn off the alarm before we celebrate our reunion. Aren't you worried about Kurumi's body? Here, lend me a hand. Uh, uh, uh. 